Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the season of 2026-2027. We are now back up in the Van Rama National League and we've actually played quite a few uh, games now, 10 games, and we're currently 6th of the league, uh, so doing quite well for bearing in mind we've just been promoted. However, we've seen the story last year where we were at the top and then we came all the way down, so let's not be too optimistic. Uh, but we are doing well so far. Let's take a look at the transfers um, that we did. We've changed quite a few players, I think 12 players in total, something like 12 or 13 players. Um, so let's go through them. In goal, we had no change. We still have Will Huffer and Cami. The only change is Will Huffer is taking more of a prominent role this year. He only played one match last year and he's been playing uh, for five matches now. So uh, doing quite well, actually. Uh, so we're going to leave him on for a few more just to see if, if that kind of confirms it. On the right side of the fence, we have two new players. Levan Zordania, he's from Georgia. A 19 year old who's come from um, Northern Ireland, apparently, Crusaders. He was at last. Obviously, a region. The other player is Kieran Anderson, also a region, Scottish player uh, from Nottingham Forest more recently. So that's the right of the fence. The left of the fence, we have one new player. We have Elliot Johnson, 20, uh, sorry, 32 year old player who's been a Dagon Red and more recently apparently Gilly Gillingham and Scoonthorpe. So he's been here and there and everywhere a little bit. But he's just a backup. We're not intending to play him first team, really. In the centre of defence we have one player who's come back to us uh, as a backup, Harrison Mintern. He's got the potential to be quite good, but at the moment he's not uh, great. So he's back with us again this, this year. Last year was with us on loan. This year is with us on a permanent deal. The other player is Kyle Cameron. He's new to us, 29-year-old Scottish player, as a as a backup for uh, Hollis in the defence role. Uh, so yeah, he's been to not 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 County and Bristol Rovers, etc. In the defensive midf midfielder position, we have one new, very good player, Alex Sulemana. He's got the potential to be good. He's he doesn't look great at the moment, but he's been doing quite well for us. The only thing is, he's not ambitious. So hopefully, we'll we'll get that to change at some point. In the midfielding position, we only have Johnny Brown back. He was with us a couple of seasons ago. He's back with us again now on loan. Um, so that's that's the only change from last year. In the right of the of attack, we have two brand new players. So we've had Dal and Kaja all of this time for like four seasons straight or whatever. And finally, we have two new players: Dylan McGlade, Irish player from Cork City, and the backup is Stephen Bradley, who's currently injured, Scottish player who's always played played in Scotland. We have a new backup player for the left position so remember the left side of attack um, was the one that we lost Gatam Gatambie he was poached by Crawley he was our best player he's even become a um, favoured personnel at the club anyway he's gone now got Cammy Ross left and we went and got a backup player Patrick Yates is not very good at all but that's all I could muster um, in the summer two new players for the attacking midfielder position Howen Hesquith, uh, he's a Welsh player who was at Wolves and also Abdul uh, who's come from us uh, to us from Millwall. And then in the attack we have one new backup player, Kieran Wakefield, who was with us briefly on loan before, but he's not great and he's not doing great. He's just there in case just in case. Um, Isapo Song is now um, kind of coming to his own, finally. Um, he's only 20, 21 years old. He's been with us not since the start, but pretty much from the beginning. He's been getting better and better each season. Uh, and he's 
doing really well this season. So hopefully that will carry on. In the youth, um, I'm not sure uh, where we're at at the moment. Third, apparently. Yeah, third of the division. And we were champions last season in the youth. Uh, we're third at the moment. So hopefully we can do quite well. Um, you know, it does seem like we have a strong squad compared to um, to previous to other teams. So that that's good. Now we're gonna take a look at the next match. It's gonna be against Barnet, who are currently 16th placed. We're gonna keep Will Huffer at goal. We're gonna get Kieran in just to give Levin a rest. I think these guys are. These guys are going to stay. Brandon's going to stay. We're going to rest Suleiman and bring in Jack Hunter. We might... Uh, actually, we're going to stick with Johnny Brown for this one. Um, we're going to have to bring in Patrick Yates just because Kami picked up a suspension in the last match. Okay, so I'm going to have to poke around with the bench. We have, we're going to need, we're going to need someone to play left attack. So let's look through the youth just to see what players, also Thomas Hughes is still with us so we might be able to fill that gap if he's not playing. Yeah, okay, so Thomas Hughes is going to come back just briefly just to cover the bench. We were wishing to sell him but he's not accepted any offers from clubs so that's why he's still around he's snubbing all the clubs that he gets offers from so there we go um but yeah so we're gonna go to play against bonnet and let's make it full screen yeah so finance wise i'm um, I think we might start to struggle now, be just because the wage uh, bill has gone up. Even though I'm still below the budget, even though we spent 170k, which is nearly three times the transfer budget, we we're able to cover it with wage budget adjustments, and we still have some wage budget left and some transfer budget left too. 18k roughly of transfer budget left. I can't remember exactly how much wage budget we have left, but we still have some left. However, we are uh, losing money every month, so we still have that transfer clause that we can sell um, relating to Kieran Tabbott. So that was the player that was poached by Nottingham Forest, I think, last year. Um, they're willing to give us back uh, half a million if we sell the clause, but the thing is, he's worth between 11 and 13 million. So if he gets sold at that price, we get over a million um, over a million back. So we're just going to hold on to that clause just to see what happens. He's got two years left of the contract anyway. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. And if we really need the money, we'll sell the clause, but at the moment, we don't. Okay, fairly uneventful first half. We're going to make some changes. So, uh, McLeod, we're going to put in Prince at uh, that size quite fast, so... It should work. Okay. Um, anyone else? No. Okay. Um, let's poke around with the. F I'm gonna put Hughes in here. And. I'm actually gonna. Uh, okay, I'm gonna poke around with this. I'm gonna put Prince in the middle. 
a chapel song on the right. I'm going to bring Wakefield. Actually, no, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's put Brown here. Oh, he's not very good at that. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, back to the previous plan. Sapo song on the right. You're gonna go there and I'm gonna bring Wakefield back in just to try do something different in attack. The Sapo song is not having a good game at all. It looks like it might be a draw. Okay, let's move on to the next match. This one was fairly uneventful. Fairly boring, I would say. But at least we gave some more minutes to Wakefield, which he'll, I'm sure he'll be happy about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bullock is criticizing Patrick Yates. I know, he's not really meant to be a first selection player. I'm going to play Dover next, who is currently at the bottom of the table. We're going to apparently praise the recent form from Brandon. How are we doing dynamics wise? Still average. We've got some players climbing up the ladder of influence. Good to see. We do need some highly influential players in the squad and some team leaders, but it's one of those things that is actually taking a lot longer to build than in previous, previous editions of the game. Praise training for those who are doing well and criticize crit training for those who are not doing so well. Just as a way to interact with the players as well. Okay, here we go. So, we are gonna do some changes, put back some of these players. These guys are fine, this guy's fine. I uh, think we'll bring back Soul Manor. Um, keep Johnny in. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. No, we'll leave him in. Uh, we'll bring Ross back. He's back from being on the naughty step. Uh, Jack Hunter can stay. Uh, we are going to bring Yates back to the bench. Thomas Hughes can go back to the under 23s. And rather than having Wakefield, we are going to have Abdul on the bench. And let's go. Playing at Dover. We got our first highlight here. Suleiman is going to take the free kick. And, oh, off the post to the keeper's hands. I was lucky for the keeper, I mean. Now they have a highlight and they score. But it's offside. 
yeah he's quite a bit offside okie dokie they have another highlight got people at the posts now so they won't be an offside Potentially, oh, oh dear, nobody wants to shoot. Come on, guys, somebody shoot. Uh, mm, not liking this, not liking this at all. Well done, Will Huffer, for saving there. Put away from Hesketh. Okay, we've got another highlight here from a long throw this time. Pass the ball, please. Nice. Good vision there by Alex Sulemana as well. Putting the ball a little bit higher, but not too much. Just lifts the ball up a little bit and Brown just corrects the traje trajectory a little bit. some changes in the fence but not yet Sapo Song still hasn't found his break this match uh, 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 come on <laughs> wasting time with the ball there in the area that wasn't great got another free kick from Sulemana. Let's see what he does from this side. I think he's left footed, but... Ooh, beautiful stuff. Yeah, arcing outwards, so had no chance there. Okay, let's bring Abdul in. Whoops. And in defense, let's get you out before you get a red card. And Jack Hunter, I think, can cover that position. So let's do that. Huffer recovers the ball. Very well done. Can Abdul get the ball? I saw it a bit too slow to get there. Hmm. He's offside. <coughs> No need to see that he was miles offside. Okay. They have a chance here. Will Huffer keeps it. Ross can recover the ball to Abdul, Abdul to Brown. Brown's gonna try and dip it in. Ah, oh, a little bit, a little bit wide, a few centimeters wide. All right, good stuff, I think. 
good stuff from the boys. Well done. We're just gonna need to keep an eye on Asapo Song because he hasn't scored in these two matches, so that might be the beginning of a dry season for him, which is a bit of a shame because he's been doing he's been doing well. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be all for today. Thanks so much for sticking around until the end, and um, yeah, give it a like and subscribe and all of those things. Uh, and see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.